Hello, this is David Ferguson with MLC CAD Systems, and I'm gonna just take a few minutes to talk about what is probably the most obvious change to Mastercam 2024, and that is this little guy in the bottom left of my graphics window, what we're, I guess we're calling the plane block or the block cube or the 3D cube, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it's a new tool that allows us to change our graphics views or our construction and tool planes uh, without not necessarily having to go to our plane manager. So we'll just kind of take a look at basic functionality of this thing, because it's pretty cool. Now, the, the block down in the center, or down there on the left-hand side, uh, does have six sides, top, front, left, back, bottom, and right, just like your traditional thing. And I do have my old school sort of plane block thrown into this just as an example. And basically it's an interactive block. I can click on any one of uh, these faces. So if I wanna, for example, go to my front plane or look at my front graphics view, I can come down, click on the front side of that little 3D cube, and I'll be looking at that front side. Of course, I still have the ability to rotate and move stuff around with my center mouse wheel. That still works fine. You wanna to go to the left side, you go to the left side. You wanna go anywhere else, you can go to that side. Now the block also has edges and corners. So for example, I can click not just on a face, but I can click on an edge, say the edge between top and front. And now I'm looking at that graphics view, right? Basically that sort of basic view. Same thing with corners. I can look at the corner uh, that sits between top, front, and right if I want to. Very, very cool. Um, there's also a couple other little buttons uh, adjacent to it. There's uh, some new pan buttons that allows me to click and pan. Uh, if I don't want to use a shortcut key or use my mouse, I can pan that way. There's also an inverse button, which is a button I'm really excited about. For example, if I'm looking at my top of part or the top of my part, and I simply want to look at the bottom or the 180 of the part, I can click on the inverse button um, to go ahead and flip that. And suddenly I'm looking at the bottom, click it again, I'm back looking at the top. Uh, if I hold over, there's some other keys. A shift click will, will do it 90 degrees. Uh, Alt or shift alt click negative 90. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff there. So a uh, little shortcut keys to work with you. Uh, the other thing the block allows you to do is if I if I do left click and hold on the block, so I'm gonna left click, just move my cursor on, uh, that does put me into a sort of an automatic dynamic rotational mode. So I can just sort of rotate that part freehand, very similar to what I already do with my center mouse wheel button. It's just another way to do it, okay? Now, the other thing, of course, that can the, the 3D cube or the plane block or whatever you want to call it can be used for is for controlling construction and tool planes. Um, in my planes manager, if I am using the follow rules, so if my C plane uh, follows the graphics view and my T plane follows the construction plane, okay, uh, by changing my graphics view, I can change where my construction and tool planes land. So uh, again, I've got my plane manager open to sort of you know, show that, uh, but obviously I don't need that, you know, uh, front and center while I'm doing this. So for example, I'm just gonna click on the right face of this cube, and because the follow rules are engaged, my construction and tool plane move to that right plane. Uh, if I don't want that to happen, if I, if I don't want clicking on this cube to change my construction and tool plane, you can simply turn off your follow rules by unchecking pretty much most of the boxes in that little group, that little pull down. And those are one of those things that once you check or uncheck, they just kind of stay that way till you change them. So if I uncheck them, they'll just stay unchecked pretty much until I decide to use them again. Um, with those unchecked, clicking on the block, for example, going to the front uh, graphics view, uh, no longer changes where my C and T planes are set. Um, so it does give you a lot, a little bit of extra flexibility of where you want to control your graphics view. Uh, again, you can still use your center mouse wheel. You can still use your uh, 3D mouse if you want to. This just allows me to very quickly on my screen sort of adjust what I'm looking at. Now, that's all really cool. But the thing that I'm most excited about this and something I've wanted to see in Mastercam for a long time is in older releases of the software, that gnomon in my bottom left corner was pretty much always parked on my default top plane, what, what we tend to call world. Well, now in 2024, that gnomon updates to reflect whatever your WCS is. So for example, if I move my work coordinate system to the right side plane, I'll just move my WCS C and T, you notice I am now looking at this cube in that orientation, as well as looking at the gnomon in that orientation. So if my WCS is on the right plane and I click on top, just like a right click in my graphics window and context, you know, top 
traditionally takes you to where your WCS is, the plain block does the same thing. Um, I love seeing that Gnomon update. That's a very cool thing. Um, in the past, you'd, you'd look down there, especially if you use a lot of custom planes, and you know it would just be sort of always what it is and, and would never sort of update with uh, the graphics view or WCS that you're currently using, and, and now it does, which is a great enhancement to MasterCam. Um, so very excited about this. So thank you very much. Thank you.